thousand two. Um.
So better, you said you were originally from Kansas. What part of Kansas are you from? So I did spend a fair amount of time in uh, Wichita for a while. <laughs> well, I guess the saving grace about Emporia is I think it's the farthest to the west in Kansas that you can. Oh, are we ready?
I'm gonna leave him on. Or is it eight? All right. All right. Oh, and thank you for all your channel. Welcome to the party. Hope to see you around a lot. <laughs> And I'm currently listening to Kaiser Wilson. Oh, thank you. All right. So I ch so Jason, I checked out one of the other sh uh, the other uh, guys that are streaming Final Fantasy Eleven. It was so funny. Oh, snap. Do, do, do. I'm on the wrong thing. Go, there, go. <laughs> I am currently listening to you uh, right now, actually. How awkward. Of like a conversation. just started over because it's been so long since I played this it would just be kind of awkward coming back on a different character even though I'm told that they never really deleted characters after a, a year after the game was launched and that's kind of what made me leave the game to begin with because I figured oh, I deleted my character so I don't really want to go back and have to do that all over again because I, I start to really Though it would be cool if I could, but if I did that, it would probably be on the other account. I don't know if I'm going to do this 
especially since I had the, uh, the first ever Halloween pumpkin cake like costume. But I'm pretty sure they do that every Halloween. Yeah, because when I first played this, they were like, oh, if you're not logged in for more than like 90 days, your character will be deleted off the server. And then, like, I would, like, pay for a subscription just to keep my character alive even if I, like, wasn't actively playing. And then one month I forgot to activate my subscription because I went off to college and I got my... I was trying to be a diligent student and go to class and not really get distracted by anything else. And I was like, oh, I forgot to reactivate my sub this month because I was a poor college student. And I figured my characters were deleted, so I just kind of left it. But the job I had on that character, I was a, a power. And then when I make a, a second character, like pretty much once I get what I aim to achieve with this one, mainly for the, I'll make a second one probably for the ability to sell more stuff in the auction house, I might do a, a melee character again. Oak! Taru, Oak! You got this! Potentially a thief. But then I heard that people could recover their characters, it's like, but they always said the action was permanent, so I wonder if they were just saying that to scare you into, like, never unsubscribing. Because if you play that launch, like, having your character deleted after you get to, like, the higher levels, it's kind of, like, a scary thought. <laughs> Pretty sure it was just a threat. Antenna Bayo, thank you for the follow and welcome to the party. Glad to have you on board. Well, it was a pretty scary threat. It's like, I took it seriously. And then after 90 days, it's like, oh shit, my character is deleted. Like, that sucks. I guess that's just it. Uh, berserk, go! I don't even know how to go about recovering that, because I don't even, for one, actually, I can show you since you're in here, and I showed people earlier, here is my original PS2 copy of the game, I don't have the box anymore, I did get rid of that when I moved here, because I didn't see a point to keeping it, I just kept the, the case here, and it still has CDs. I don't think it has the product code in here, or does it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Or does it? Nope. So that was somewhere. I don't remember where it was. I was a big sucker for that, like, I don't know, I kept that box for years, like, even after I stopped playing the game. I had it until two years ago, that's when I finally just threw it away. Because it was, like, it was a pretty big box. And when I was moving, I was pressed for space, so I was like, well, I can just take the, the case out and just throw away the box. Wait, it's in the book? Let me see. Let's look here. Oh yeah, how to install the PlayStation. I don't see in here, but that's something on a separate card.
Yeah, because I remember it had a, a play online registration code. Yeah, maybe I should have kept that. Like, you know what they say though, hindsight is 2020. But for anyone that wants to see, here's the original PS2 copy of this. I think you can buy them, like, if you really want to buy it off Amazon. They still sell the box of it. In fact, let me look. Get some time to kill while crossing this zone, but first, I need to put sneak in invisible mode. You know what? I didn't get the I didn't get the page. I'm a dumbass. Don't mind me. Saren is going to die. And I'll put this in chat for anyone that wants to see. Yeah, that's what it looked like, and it came in a giant box. I don't even remember how big. Oh yeah, that PS2 hard drive was 40 gigs. Of, wow. I mean, for something that came out of that era, it was, that was pretty big. But then I guess they figured, like, all the patches they would need it. But I remember the original Xbox hard drive was only 8 gigs. Though you can get a new copy of that for only $42. I mean, if you want a, a collector's piece, that's certainly one to grab. tempting just to get one just to say like oh I have the box again and just throw it up on display though I kind of wonder what this game was like to play on 360 I've never met someone who said they played it on 360 People were either PS2 players or they played it on PC. I wonder if it actually looked any better on me. Oh, come on now. Uh, I say I started back in November for a little bit. I did stream my nightmare playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. And then after I finished that game, I didn't really stream. But it's kind of been like a New Year's resolution of mine to actually like stream everything I play. And um, you know, I'm not really worried about, oh, I have like, this many viewers or this many followers, like to me this is just like a hobby for fun. And if people want to watch it, you know, that's really cool. And if not, that's cool too. Like I don't want to be one of those people that comes like a giant stickler about it. Oh, you play on 360? Well that's cool. Well now I know someone who plays on 360. But I'll probably stream some other stuff besides this, because I do have a, a variety of games. Just to get started with streaming, I did want to do RPGs, because I have a habit of buying almost every RPG that comes out, and then a lot of them I don't really finish, like, when I start playing them. So I figured if I streamed it, I would actually finish it. Because then if other people are watching it, it's going to be like, oh, well, I just don't want to like, stop playing, stop playing. Well, 
like I kind of want to stream Final Fantasy X because I never actually finished Final Fantasy X. Because I almost did before the remaster came out, but part of me didn't want to actually finish it because I knew the remaster was coming out and I knew that I would end up getting it. So I didn't want to like finish the game and then like go through it again and <laughs> just kind of like not really enjoy it because I like, just finished it like right before it came out. Yeah, I know. I have never, never finished it. Because I got to the part, like, right before you get to Xehanort Camp, and that's when I was like, oh, the remaster is, like, a month away. I'm just going to stop now, and I'll just, like, experience it then. And then I kept telling myself, oh, I'll just go back and finish it. And, like, part of me wants to play it, like, because I do want to play some other games, because I want to stream more often, because I didn't get hired back at my job, because it's a, uh, I was doing part time. And <laughs> I was mainly filling in because somebody else, like, gets sick, but since they're better now. Uh, I was looking for something to do, so in the meantime, while I'm looking for new employment, I decided, okay, I'll just start streaming. So, I do want to play other games besides this, mainly during the day. I kind of have started streaming this at night, and I was thinking maybe that could be one of the games. Yeah, I did. And, like, again, like, I kind of want to start streaming it now. And be like one of the games that I stream during the day, like along, because I want to be a variety caster. And now announced that Final Fantasy X, the remaster, is going to be on PlayStation 4. So it's like, do I just play it on PlayStation 3 or on the Vita through the PSTV that I get, so I can stream Vita games? Or do I just wait like a month or two from now? and play it on PlayStation 4. Like, I don't know. That's the thing about Square. They, they're just doing ports of ports of ports of ports of remasters and ports. But the funny thing is, I own at least three copies of Final Fantasy X on PS2. I don't know how that came to be. Sharon the Warrior! When I was going through my PS2 games, I found three copies of it. I bought two copies of 12, because I originally got the limited collector's edition that came with the seal book that had the art book and the strategy guide. Or I think I bought the strategy guide separate, but it did come with the art book that I still had. And when I moved to Oklahoma from Texas, I think my roommate sort of pilfered it, because it wasn't with the games that I brought, so I bought a second copy of it. But then I'm, I found the International Zodiac job system version of it, and after playing that version, I just don't want to tell I really play the vanilla game. Yeah, I bought the remaster for both PS3 and Vita. And, um, it's, like, tough, because, you know, you don't want to, like, get into the game, and then all of a sudden, there's, like, a newer version of it now. But, I think the saving grace is since the PS3 and the Vita version had cross play, like, or cross save, cross play, that the PS4 version hopefully might have that too. So if it did start playing it on those platforms, I could then maybe just transfer my save over to PS4. If they had that, I would probably start playing it.
<laughs> so, that's one thing I want to do this New Year's is just like put into streaming before uh, the whole world gets into it. Well, it's not a false move, but like, you know, see where that goes. Since I was uh, a part time in the instructor. Which I kind of just hire you on a, uh, an academic term basis. Which some people only really get hired during a certain term, like fall or spring. I mean, until you get a PhD, that's just kind of the way it goes. But if they do do 12 HD with the job Zodiac version, I definitely would get that. That would be uh, a must buy for me. I also am planning on getting Type 0 when it comes out on PS4 in March. I already have that pre ordered and paid off. Wait, I didn't get a new. Okay, we need to find another place where we can get lightning. Obviously not lightning here. Uh, there's supposed to be something in Sarum. Jason, what's the name of the place that's right outside of uh, Juno where you go level at like 20? 21. Yeah, thank you. But I do think if they're gonna release 7 again on PS4, that I hope they would do, I guess, 8 and 9, even though 8 wasn't really. I mean, I don't want to say 8 was bad, it just wasn't one of my favorites. <laughs> but if they could like take 9 and put it on PS4 and like do something with the loading times, I would be all in. The loading times of 9 would be so atrocious. That's something that the PlayStation era of Final Fantasy is separate from horrible loading times. Really just PlayStation era RPGs in general. Because if you play, uh... <laughs> what's it called? Final Fantasy VI, like the PlayStation version of that. Because that was actually my introduction to VI, was I bought the collection that had Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI on it. Because I wanted to play both those games. The loading times were horrible, like absolutely horrible. Like, it would take like a minute to load a battle. I don't hate eight. It's just that if you know like the actual mechanics of the game, it sort of becomes too easy. Like, people who, like, I don't know how to put this, but it's, the way the game is designed, the more you level up, the harder it gets because the enemies scale with you. But since most Final Fantasies are like that, it's kind of confusing. So the game basically makes it, so if you want to have the, the easiest path through the game, you don't level up. And there's active ways that you can stop yourself from leveling up.
that, and I didn't really care for the story. Like, I thought the whole love thing was kind of lame. Well, it wasn't lame. It's just that it seemed that that was, like, the basis of the whole game. But I will be honest, out of 7, 8, 9, 9 was by far my favorite one. Because 9 to me was more of like a throwback to the earlier titles. Whereas like 8 to me was like the emo adventures. Though I guess compared to 13, 8 really wasn't that emo at all. Plus the whole space thing was just weird. Like, that, that was very far around there. Space thing? Like, it wasn't Final Fantasy, it was like, Final Sci-Fi. Well, 9 is actually a very good entry point to Final Fantasy. I would say 9 and 6 are like, the best ones for someone that's like, never played one before. You could maybe include 10 because 10 for the most part like keeps you on rails so you can't really go off and get lost. Yeah, is that the one where they went into space? Or am I getting that confused with something else? Six is my favorite one. Like, people want to remake a Final Fantasy VII. I want to remake a Final Fantasy VI. Six of me had the best cast of characters of any point things. Like it seems as the series goes on, like the characters just get, I don't know, more emo. You know what I realized? I don't have Sassavio! I like Seven's characters. <laughs> Eight, I didn't really care for Skull, but I thought the love story was... I don't know, I thought it was too overplayed. Just right away. Yep. And then Nine, I like I like the characters in Nine. Like, I thought I liked K Kina. That was, she was cool. Kina? I like Freya. Like, I like Dragoons, so... I couldn't really complain about the characters in 10. 12... I thought Vaughn sucked. I thought Vaughn sucked a lot. I thought Pinello was boring. I didn't know why they were in the game. Thirteen. It had hope in it. I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> okay, there's no lightning here. I might go into the same zones. I'm not finding any new weather. The only complaint I have about Titus is the complaint everybody would have about Titus, and it's that whole laughing scene where, granted, I get it's supposed to be forced and awkward, but it was really forced and awkward. 
See, that's probably a link to what I'm just talking about. I'm gonna look, and I bet it is. <laughs> it's the laughing scene. <laughs> I bet this is the laughing scene. Oh, it is totally the laughing scene. See, and, and that's what I mean. Like, that's the only complaint I would have because it was forced and awkward. But the time it's the page supposed to be for changing camps, so I can't hate it too much. Wait, what? But We're changing camps. I, I get to that part of the game, I hit the mute button. Because I just don't, don't want to do it. I can get the page now? I get to beat the page. Okay, so what page are we doing? Uh, read page. What page is it? Page two. I'm keeping this guy's thing going. I'm go to Quiff. Him. All right, on the guy I'm looking at, it doesn't mention Quiff him as a possible. You can also get, I think, a certain Doesn't Quiff him have a uh, like, thunder? The past ninety minutes, like, all metals. Yeah, yeah. Th like um, yeah, like element, water, like yeah. uh, weather. Yeah. Um, you, you should get circumspection from the book and give you sneak and invis. Okay. Well, my favorite character in 10 was Aura, and I thought Aura was a badass. Uh, I need. To see what they do with 15. But, like, from what I've seen in the trailers, it just looks like Final Fantasy The Backstreet Boys. Final Fantasy The Backstreet Boys? Hey, Kitty. Hello and welcome. I don't believe I've seen anyone here before, so allow me to, I guess, formally welcome you to the channel. Hope you stick around. Alright, oh. let's try going to quick them. Hopefully, we'll get something. Yeah, I like Walker. And Lulu kind of grew on me. Oh, and I liked, uh... I like Riku. You've been examined. But... I've been examined! If we want to talk about, like, coolest Final Fantasy characters, one, I'm gonna pick Saitu. Oh, and you can't forget Balthier. I mean, Balthier was, like, the ultimate badass. It's just that most of the other characters... Where are we going? Sucked. We're going back like, to the stairs Vaughn, and there's like, people there. Why was Vaughn in the game? No one knows. And Cetra, hello and welcome. Uh, I am doing the... Let's say this quest. It's for Summoner. I can hear a rainbow. So, I need at least two other elements. And I don't think I'm going to find any here. Well, we're not exactly leveling right now. I just need to find... I need. To, I think I need snow. Well, I know I need snow. I think I need lightning. It's either snow or lightning or it's snow and fire. Because I'm looking at the quest guide. And it says for lightning, I need to be in Konstadt Saru. I'm just going to call it Sorrow because I can't pronounce it. Sorrow Champagne. 
uh, patch out Marshlands, Union Force, or Sanctuary of Zeta. I don't think I've been to that map since doing this quest. And for snow, I need to be either in Battle of Downs or the Glacier. <laughs> and I believe once I get those ones, I'll be able to advance to the next part. <sighs> Yeah, uh, Valkrim was the first place I went to, and I got a cutscene. Oh, so Lightning is equipped. Well, it doesn't say that on here. Alright, well, I'll just, yeah, I guess I just can go here and hang out. I have a, uh, a grounds tome here anyway. So let's do this. Let's just kind of speed through here. I don't want to fight anything. Or you could show up on Asura. You know. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you guys here. gonna hang out here in Quiffin and see what happens. Yeah, I think I've gotten like four or five cutscenes so far. Wait, just stay here? Or like, not like go all the way out or I can just hang out the tunnel? Like, because if I can do that, that's fine. Stay by the zone. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> so I guess I see now why they have an, a plugin that displays the weather. That makes perfect sense to me now. Yeah. Did I not Voke? Okay. Yeah, that doesn't run. Pretty close, yeah. So let's hang on here for a I'm gonna take about a couple minutes and grab some socks because my feet are starting to like freeze and that that's not good. So I'll be right back. This will be a very short break. Oh, Eve. I literally have no viewers because I'm sitting here watching someone else's stream while we party. Ugh. Oh, that's not good. I 
I don't think I could that like even if I wanted to I don't think I could save them Pass they need to pass leave, but they're not gonna do it. They're going to die Yep that happened Oh <sighs> Time to plug the headset in. Okay, sorry about that. We are getting quite a bit of snow. So it's now getting a lot colder inside our house. That's probably due to a uh, to a wind door. I believe there's a plug in that I can also throw in to disable that. I just haven't done that yet. Because when I play it on the screen, I I don't notice it. use the plug-in that uncaps the FPS because I was worried it would it would look not weird but it would it just would feel off because when you play games that are designed to be played at 30 FPS and you play it at 60 sometimes it has a lot of strange side effects yeah I use window and I do believe there is a plug-in that you can grab that Either reduces or minimizes the flash. Oh, what add ons am I running? Um, the minimap for sure. The, the one that puts up the timers on your spells. The one that shows your party member's TP.
and the one that does the distance. And I have the one that gives you notificate audio notifications, like if someone inspects my work. Because I wanted to set it up for when the, my debuffs expired, it would let me know. So I wouldn't, in case I missed it in the chat log, I would know to be fine. But I remember did see something that said it would produce blinking. But at the time, I didn't know what that was, so I didn't get it. Hmm. Actually, I might go grab that now, because I can get the one that tells you about the weather. So I'm not just randomly, you know, just bumming around. So... We're gonna go ahead and X out the game. We'll throw that on and then we'll restart. Oh, and I also have one that tells me where I am on the map. I don't think I have the one that tells me how much experience I'm getting per hour, but I did see that one. Oh, I'm using OBS here, and I can go ahead and open my door. And I can tell you exactly what I'm wearing, because I do have it still set to... I still have it set to run in close so I can't all tab out. Because when I ran it in borderless window, it like changed the resolution and the colors and I didn't like it. Oh, it has to do with player characters blinking? Well I can tell you real quick, I'll just relaunch the game here in a second. For add-ons, I have distance. I should probably, like, put this on a Moobot command eventually. So, like, you know, we can just type out a command and it'll automatically display. I have distance, eternity, which actually I think we're going to turn this one off. Because it makes the cutscenes fly by and I don't really see what's going on. And what other ones? Silence. And tea party. And for plugins, there is Chatmon, Distance, FFXIDB, which is the mini map add on I was using, Info Bar, Itemizer, Light Luggage, and Status Timer, Timers, and Timestamps. So you're saying the weather one is completely obsolete? It's now standard to base. Where's the blinking one again? Or that only works with my character? Then it might be related to OBS. So I've never seen that somewhere. Stop yourself or other characters from blinking. Okay, so basically none of my settings were affecting that, and that one thing I was looking at is obsolete. Alright, well, we'll just relaunch it. Alright, sorry about that, guys.
happening before and I like was feeling that upon me. I'm stuck yeah, on the tiger. Next time I watch a game, I will try doing different audio settings, and then I'll remove the chat since a lot of people were talking about using theater mode, so I'll, I'll take that out as well. So how do I see the weather? I can lower the frames. Like the bit rate? Because I do want you guys to be able to enjoy this stream without any, you know, major distractions here. not been paying any attention to my own stuff going on. <laughs> Sad. Alright. It's dead. Oh, I think recording-wise, I think it's at 30. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I did set my initial audio settings up with what was ideal for Twitch, and people kept saying that my audio was way off sync. And now people are like, oh, it's like a second off sync as opposed to be way off sync. So it's kind of like a, a trial and error process. Again, I, I do apologize. I am trying my best to kind of deal with that. Uh, yeah, I'd appreciate that. I mean, I, as I said before, I do want you all to be able to watch the stream and enjoy. Hmm. <sighs> oh, so this is how you see the world map, okay. Yeah, I remember there being a world map. Well, apparently that's how you see it. So I guess this, uh, the weather thing's kind of a luck of the draw. Like, you either get it or you don't. Or, like, zone into it, rather, or you don't. Because I still need to find lightning. I have XSplit, but I've never used it, and sometimes I wonder why I'm paying for it, <laughs> to really be honest with you, because I've never used it. Because when I was first looking to streaming, people were like, oh, I use XSplit, and then everyone else was like, oh, XSplit sucks, I use OBS. And then those same people later on were like, oh, OBS sucks, I should go back, I went back to XSplit.
Alright, well, while we're waiting on equipment, we could probably try uh, heading back out to. Lower Juno again? Oh, so when the weather activates, my radar... What, what does the... Talk to Apollonia at G6. Okay, well, let me look for her. That sounds very helpful. <laughs> Streamer out there. Oh. Yep. It's not. <laughs> so now you wanted to go up the stairs. Let's put this right here. All right. I take it we're done. We got a lot of levels too. Well, the thing is, everyone said to go Asura. They said Asura Bahama, you can't go wrong. Or Odin. Yeah, well, weather forecast, that sounds very helpful right now. You did a shitload of damage. I did? Uh -huh. What I was my. This fucking tiger did literally more than a third of the fucking damage in the entire part of the. I was not paying attention most of the time and not weapon skilling. I mean, your monster had a lot of damage, dude. You had like 4k more than I did. Well, that's out of just, you know, whatevers. But a lot of that